Hi friends, Mrs. Hall here again, reading you another book about spiders so we can learn even more about the arachnids. Let's see what this book is. Okay, this book is called Spiders by Gail Gibbons. Gail Gibbons is the author, so that means that she wrote the words. Okay. Spiders may look scary, but most of them don't hurt people. Spiders come in many shapes and sizes. Some are so tiny that they're no bigger than a dust, a speck of dust. Others are as big as a dinner plate. Most spiders are brown, gray, or black, though some have bright colors. The first spiders lived over 30 million years ago. Spiders are not insects, they are arachnids. Can you say arachnid? Now a spider's body is different than an insect's body. Insects have three body parts, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And a spider has two body parts. It has a head and a cephalothorax. A male spider is smaller than a female spider. Now, a male spider is sometimes scared of the female spiders because if the female spider is hungry, it will eat him. When it's time for the mother spider to lay her egg, she encloses them in a strong silk egg sac. Some spiders lay a few eggs, others lay thousands. And after a number of weeks, the baby spiders creep out of the silk sac. Baby spiders are called spiderlings. Now, once the baby spider is born, it doesn't stay with its mommy. It climbs up on a plant, cuts, creates a streamer that comes out of the back of its body, and the wind carries it away, and it lives by itself. Now, as the spiderling grows, it has a hard outer skin called an exoskeleton. Just like insects, when it gets too big for its skin, the skin cracks open and the spider climbs out with a bigger skin. Like insects, this is called moltings. And spiders can molt five to 10 times before they're fully grown. Some spiders are web weavers. They spin webs to catch their food and they can spin them in different shapes. Sometimes it's a messy shape, Sometimes it looks like a big sheet of paper. Some spiders create funnels. The top is big and the bottom is small. And the spider sits at the bottom and waits for an insect to fly in and then it catches it and eats it. Some spiders spin webs that are in the shape of triangles. All spiders spin beautiful webs. Now, they don't always use a web to catch food. Some spiders hide beneath rocks and stones, and when it sees an insect, he runs out, grabs it, and eats it. Other spiders spin their webs underwater. They stay inside the web with bubbles and wait for an insect to come in. Some spiders dig a tunnel and line it with silk. It stays in there, and when the insect comes close, it hurries out and eats it. Some spiders hide on flowers and catch insects that way. Some spiders are dangerous. A dangerous one is called a black widow spider. The black widow only bites when its web is disturbed or if it's in danger. Now, the biggest spider of all is called a tarantula. When its legs are stretched out, it measures about 10 inches wide. It is very heavy, it's hairy. Tarantulas that live in the United States cannot hurt you, they are not poisonous. Some spiders have enemies that like to eat them. Spider wasps eat insects, toads and frogs, and some birds like to eat insects too. Most spiders live for about a year but female tarantulas can live to be 25 years old. Many people don't like spiders because they are afraid of them, but spiders help us. 
They play an important role because they eat insects that are bad for our plants. And they're very interesting to watch. It's kind of fun to watch them spin a web. The end. I hope you learned a lot about spiders today. And we'll talk about spiders more later. Bye now.